Hey everybody, I'm going to share with you two things that are more effective than even probiotics when it comes to the intestinal tract and the gut microbiome. Uh, the first thing is something called butyrate. So butyrate is a byproduct from simply fiber. Uh, here's the deal though. So every cell in our intestinal tract uses butyrate as fuel. Uh, without butyrate, we have a ton of problems and a ton of issues. And so uh, butyrate helps with the inflammatory process in the intestinal tract. Butyrate helps increase regulatory T cells. It helps with autoimmune conditions. It helps dampen uh, cytokines. It does so many different things when it comes to uh, autoimmunity and uh, gut health. Uh, butyrate is really critical. One of the best supplements that I use uh, to help our patients with butyrate is Enterovite, which is a product from Apex Energetics. Uh, they can take it, um, you know, a few, cap a few capsules three times a day. Uh, sometimes they even have our patients put it in their enemas as well. That sounds fun, but, but yes, that's an effective strategy that we use. Butyrate is probably one of the most common supplements that I'll use for my autoimmune patients. Uh, and patients suffering with Hashimoto's. And so uh, that's the first one. The next one is really simple, but most of our autoimmune patients, they eat little to nothing because it impacts their autoimmunity and they feel worse. And so a lot of our autoimmune patients, they might have like six foods that they eat consistently every single day. And in reality, what they don't realize is that they're actually causing more damage than good. Uh, the gut microbiome changes drastically every single day. If we're eating the same amount of foods each day though, uh, it, it becomes stagnant and we have a lot of problems there. And so one of the things that I'll have my autoimmune patients do is to just simply buy a ton of vegetables, as many as you, many as you possibly can, a ton of variety of vegetables. Uh, I'll have them avoid anything like nightshades or lectins, but any other form of vegetable and even herbs and then buy them and, and clean them and then blend them uh, together and then eat about a few t tablespoons a day of that each day. And that is more effective at improving the gut microbiome than really anything else. And so just eating a large variety of vegetables is really effective, but even more effective is get like the, like the strangest vegetables that you've ever seen, um, vegetables that you're not used to eating blend them all together and um, and do a tablespoon, you know, a few tablespoons a day, and that will be really effective. If you want to take probiotics, like we, we have some patients just love their probiotics, that's, that's great. Uh, these two strategies are more effective, but if you're gonna take probi probiotics, um, here's what I have my patients do. So I'll have them get buy three different probiotics, and then I'll have them rotate those probiotics each month. So they're not taking the same thing for years to come. They're constantly switching up their probiotics. So anyways, hope this helps. Take care.